In previous videos, we used the HackRF to capture packets from our Chinese diesel heater. These we'll use to program in an Arduino to hook to our Home Assistant. That way we can automate the heater from our Home Assistant and control it anytime, anywhere. Okay, done some checking in the code and I checked all the registers that the ESP sets on the radio. Um, or actually, I just checked the frequency and power. Chat GPT was able to tell me uh, what the registers were. I didn't even have to look them up uh, or double check them anyway. And it is set to the correct frequency, 433-900. And I modified the code to send a wake up uh, command to the heater. And this is the result. I should see a wake up command coming from this radio because we've seen it configures fine and we've got nothing, it's radio silence. So for whatever reason, this is not functional uh, to the radio at all. So we've got two problems, I think. The library expects the configuration to work, the address send to work with the, not a way that it does, and we've got it radio silent too. Cool that we can use the HackRF to quickly check these things, but <laughs> I've got some digging to do. I planned to make some PCBs for this, and I whipped up a, the wiring schematic just to make sure I had the pinouts correct, and I've checked them a dozen times, and it checks out, so I don't know. Maybe I have a defective set of modules. I don't know. Gotta keep digging. I'll try another code example maybe and see if I can get them talking. It configures, but I have never seen them actually talk. We've done fun ESP32 projects before and even custom PCBs from PCBWay to break them out and make the projects much easier. If you want to make your own PCBs, check them out. PCBWay.com, there's all kinds of pre-made projects just like these where you can order them, have them fabricated, or just build on the designs yourself. They've supported this channel for a very long time, and I'm very happy to have them for projects like this one. Okay, I think we might have it here. I found one last example for the CC1101 radio, and I programmed the radio with uh, a smart outlet. <laughs> sketch and I saw the SPI initialize. So let's see if that gives us actual radio output. I We've seen the output initialize before. Oh, uh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, dope. This is a dodgy cable. Should get rid of it. That is data. A lot of it. This thing is just belching out. You can see the LED in the background. They've used the onboard LED to pair it to reflect the radio state. And you can see a whole lot of different, um, you see the sidebands changing there. So this is, this is varying data flows going out, but it's just splattering everywhere. And it's, it's, it's working. That, proves that it can work, at least, which until now I wasn't sure whether these radios were any good. But they can work with that sketch. It initializes the radio correctly and outputs. So I know my pins are right. I know what register settings can output radio. And I still have this sketch that I found online that may or may not actually work with the diesel heater. But if it does, if his decoding is right, now we just need to make the radio talk. But there we go. HackRF put to work beautifully. What a great, great tool for this. Just amazing. Love it.